Talking about relegation today, absolutely interesting table right now. Um, Aston Villa sit in 11th and they are only 8 points away from uh, 18th place West Ham United. And uh, more realistically, I guess Nottingham Forest is where we can start at 13th because they are only 5 points away from 18th um, in, in the league table. West Ham at 20, Leeds at 19 and Southampton at 18. So literally everybody is still, there is no team that is like so far away from Nobody the pack that, yeah, exactly. Uh, and nobody's completely out as well, right? Um, so let's talk about relegation predictions. Like which of these teams do we actually see getting over the line versus who do we not? Um, so that's Nottingham Forest, Leicester City, Wolves, Everton, Bournemouth, West Ham, Leeds and Southampton. So Karthik, tell me your three picks for the relegations and I will tell you my three and let's take it from there. My initial choice was Bournemouth for sure. I think I had spoken about this at the start of the season too. But Bournemouth surprisingly have been getting a randomly good results. Uh, but I think Southampton have dropped the anvil. Maybe they they are just going to be anchored at 20th, not having a manager. There's literally no reason I see for Southampton to move ahead. I I also think Everton might still face the drop, although Sean Dyche's newfound defensive resolution and whatnot might be the agenda right now. But I don't think Everton have it in them to stay stay up. Third is Bournemouth. Yeah, Bournemouth somehow might sink. So, That's my three. I agree with you on Southampton. I think Southampton is just like, first off, crazy decision to sack Hasanoodle to begin with. Like, he has literally kept you in the league. He's got a distinct play style and stuff. You haven't backed him ever in the transfer market and now you choose to sack him. That there itself, I figured they were going to get sacked. Then they, when they hired Nathan Jones, I was like, okay, maybe they know what they're doing. Clearly not. He's out as well. That sort of turmoil, you're right. Like, the club is just, like, despite them being close on the points table, Ward Prowse can only score from so many free kicks. <laughs> exactly. I want to add uh, one more thing. Nathan Jones was like, okay, I know this might be a short stint. So let's just throw everyone under the bus. Okay, <laughs> this game was bad. Yeah, we had four players who didn't do well. This game was bad. We had five who didn't do well. This couldn't do well, that couldn't do well. Okay, nobody can, could do well, but where are your tactics? Sorry, but that does not cut it. I mean, it's Southampton have come so far. This is the club where Pochettino got his start, right? They've get picked up so many good managers and so many great players have come through the ranks of Southampton as well. And it's just sad to see him this in this position. And I really never thought that they would make such a bad managerial choice uh, and then just essentially cost them their season, right? I'm definitely certain that they're definitely going down. The other team that I think really dropped the anvil there was Leeds. I get that Mars's results weren't the best, but it's like, it almost felt like they completely backed him in the January transfer market. They really got players essentially trying to build the US national team at Leeds, um, which part of it is also because the part of the ownership is, you know, the 49ers uh, who kind of have a large stake and are hoping to take over the club in the long run anyway. But still you back him so much and then you get rid of him and then you don't even have a plan as to who's coming in his place. Um, that's just a ridiculous decision. I think they were lucky to get that draw against Manchester United. Of course, they lost that second game. Um, but to sack your manager like two days before a double header against your historical rivals, I do not get that in, in any sense of the shape, form. And the team is, I feel, it's built for a manager who can come in and do long run stuff. I don't think they can make adjustments in the short term to really stay afloat, at least not with the other teams that are up there, right? So those are my, that's my second pick. And my third pick is really hard, but I think I have to go with you again on that Bournemouth. I just feel like Sean Dyche just, he's just, he just knows how to tackle these situations, man. And Everton is way better than the Burnley teams that he's kept in the league in the past. Like he's that's got true. a much higher caliber of players, much higher caliber of defenders to begin with, which is all of his, start. again, not being mean to him, but like he really needs world-class defenders more than anything else which he has at this Everton team. Uh, and if Seamus Coleman can turn a cross into a goal, like that's, a, <laughs> that, that, that's like, we can pick up a few wins like that. I think, I think Everton will really, I mean, they've already gone a point clear of, of safety from like bottom from when he joined in. Um, and I think everybody else, like I think Leicester City are just in a slump. They will eventually make things work. Nottingham Forest surprisingly finally have a rhythm. 
So I think they might just skirt things away. Wolves look amazing ever since Lopetegui has come in. They've backed him in the transfer market as well. So I think they're just going to slowly start inching away from the competition. And again, with West Ham, I feel like they just, they just have enough player quality to assure themselves that they won't get relegated. Rough result again today, loss to Tottenham Hotspur, but I just cannot see this West Ham team getting relegated. So yeah, those are my three picks, Bournemouth, Leeds and Southampton. Do you want to make any changes? Yeah. Uh... My picks stay the same. Southampton, Bournemouth, and Everton. I oh. would really want to see Sean Dyche go down. <laughs> like I am done with done with that type of football again and again and again and again. I'm Come done on, with man. It. Give him a little bit more love. Give him a little bit more care. I love that. <laughs> Maybe one <laughs> season later. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, those are our predictions for relegation. Let us know who you think. Are Southampton and Bournemouth pretty much nailed on? Is there a wiggle room for the third one? As always, please hit like, share and subscribe. And we will see you guys uh, next time. Bye.